Taiwanese breakfast. It's unique. It's fun. Your thoughts and suspicions were correct. I do love it. What's going on, Brad? Let's just do it and see what happens. But you never know. It could be amazing. Me fun, it's Taiwan breakfast time! <laughs> breakfast time! Whoa! Brad, last time you were here, you enjoyed your breakfast a lot. People absolutely mm. love to watch you cave down on that breakfast. <laughs> it's golden me, Jack. Taiwanese breakfast, it's unique, it's fun, and today I'm gonna to be showing him the traditional Taiwanese breakfast. Okay, Brad, this is called Gan Mian. Wow. It's like your most popular basic kind of noodle. I think you'll love it. Your thoughts and suspicions were correct. I do love it. I really do love this. <laughs> it's good. So, it's good. So look at these noodles right here. They've got this minced pork in there, a rich sauce, and these noodles are fresh, super fresh. These two women are super efficient. I mean, they're doing things that just blow my mind. You see how fast they're working and moving from one thing to the next. I almost just finished this, but then I remembered I needed to be considerate of you, so I left you some. Well, for me, this no-named noodle store here at the market in Jianghua is absolutely incredible. And for that bread, one dollar. This was not a dollar. This was a dollar. For a huge bowl of noodles, what's the choice gonna be? I'm here in Jianghua market trying wontons, real wontons for the first time. Mm. Wow. Bro, what is that? Yeah, so these are wontons with meat inside. High in protein. Mm. Wow. I'm a soup guy. So this is hitting the spot. We're right now in a morning market. It's like a fish market, farmer's market, fruit market, food market. Everything is right here. It's just a market of everything. Oh my so, god. If you look behind, we got all the people selling stuff. Fresh food, seafood, little small snacks, you name it. We're going to walk breakfast, through this. right? Oh yeah. Before we get going, make sure you hit subscribe and comment down below what your very favorite Taiwanese breakfast is. So have you been in markets like this before? Just with you. They really only exist here as far as I'm concerned. When I lived in Hawaii, they did, they would have these local farmers markets like this. It wasn't packed the way this is packed and it's definitely not the size of a market like this. Anyone want some chicken feet? Moki! Oh, just some chicken feet juggling. Oh, that smells good. Not very good. At home we got what you call a hole in one. That's like a piece of toast where we cut a hole in it and crack an egg in it and then you can put some syrup in it. That's a lot what this tastes like, almost like a French toasty egg you feel. This is good. Yeah, Creamy. Is good. Like look at that. And it's right across the street. Good. Thank you. Look at this. What is this? It's that, just like a big patty of rice. And it's held together with blood. That's blood? Yeah. Yum, yum, yum. Next up on the menu is a... I don't know. So next up on the menu is a fun one. And it is like this rice roll, a rice ball. Is that hot? Uh, uh, uh. Ooh, <laughs> pull that out of a pipe, being steamy. Yeah, so if you get these, just make sure you get handles because it'll burn your hands off. So actually you got tons of different kind of rices and inside is where it matters. Inside is just bursting with flavors. They put so many things in here. My favorite that I'm most excited for is they've got yo tail. Now that's a Brad bite. Mmm, my God. Yo, is that so good? This is Taiwan in one bite right here. Wow. 
That's interesting. If I were to make the same thing, the only change I would make is more sauce. Woo! Squid, dude. Look, what is like creatures? Lots of creatures. This is Taiwanese brown sugar cake. Here we go. A steamed bread. That is so interesting. Yeah. I actually like it. Almost has like a ginger feel to it. Woo! Look what we've got here. So do you know what these are? These are mochis. Which I love mochi. I yeah. love mochi so much, in fact, that my dog's name is Mochi. Is this breakfast? Um, yes, because we're eating it during breakfast. I've always loved mochi. Logan, you gotta have this. It's dude. It's meat junk flavored, pretty much. <laughs> I love these. I bet you that's so good, though. Like if you cook it up like a good old trout at home. Except these come raw right from the ocean. Okay, here we go. Turn it around. I don't know what the base is. Okay. Okay. So it's like it's like a. Uh, <laughs> like cream of wheat almost. Okay. Mm. So if you were to take like cream of wheat and mold it, that's it. Try it. It's really good. The whole texture, it's, it's bouncy. It's fresh. That was even better than the mochi. I'm not gonna yeah. lie. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. You wanna try sesame one with me? Try the sesame. Very good. Bro. Oh my god. Very good. Thank you. It is so good. Thank you. Time to order breakfast. Mi jiang, dou jiang, you tell, tong zhua bing, jia la, jia dan. Is that enough food, Brett? The whole bean chow kli wei dao jiao hao le. I think we're good. Chow bing, jia la, jia dan. Dui. Hai yo. Dan bing, hao wa hao. Yi ge huo tui dan bing. This is gonna be a very Taiwanese breakfast. Um, Right now, Brad, I'm gonna show you. Walk out with me, brother. Will you walk out with me? Okay. We are right now at a, it's called a doujiang jian, mm -hmm. a doujiang store. Okay. Now I know, mijiang guan sui is the best, but I don't know, there's this weird thing where people put mijiang above it. I want to be the first one to have a mijiang store. It is now Taiwan breakfast extravaganza. This is like what Taiwanese people eat on a daily, and you know, on a day-to-day -day basis. This is their standard breakfast. Let's jump into the most important part right here. We have mi jiang, which is obviously the drink from the heavens, the nectar of the gods and the goodness. Drinking this will exalt you for a life of happiness. <laughs> that is manna from the gods. Mm. Nice warm mi jiang. This is a yo tiao right here, Brad, and you dip it in the mi jiang. When it's hot and steaming, it's the best thing in the world. So grab that. Oh boy. Dip it in there. And cheers. He really likes this. Oh yeah. Oh, look at him go to town on that thing. So are you a mi jiang fan or a dou jiang fan? If you had to pick 50, one of them. 50-50. First off, this is called a shelving. Meanwhile, they put eggs inside and it's spicy. Take a yo chat. Oh, yeah. They're here. <laughs> That's good. That's good. That's good. This is the one I'm most excited for. I'm just gonna go for it. Okay. This is Dan Bing. No, no. This is. This is Tong Zhua Bing. Go ahead, dip it in there, Logan. You know I will. You just shove that. <laughs> That's spicy, yeah. <laughs> it's not really spicy. I got a lot of that. If you were at an American restaurant or so and they gave you this much, what would you be paying? Twelve to fifteen dollars. Four bucks. That's asinine. So not only is Taiwanese food good, but you can eat a lot of it because it's so cheap. First moved to Taiwan, I would call him every single morning, and he always had oh, what I, I did, ate. Huh? Every morning. Yep. Because yep. your mother-in-law makes this. Yes. And you can't go wrong with one of these. That's good. Yeah. So Brad, overall thoughts. 
Taiwanese breakfast. Where do you like? I actually really do like it. I like this, and I like this. Mm -hmm. And honestly, it's all it's all really good. I just like these two classics. Yeah. For me, I'm actually a huge fan of Taiwanese breakfast because it's just it's a culture here. You know, in America, you just eat cereal in the morning or you get something small. There's not many breakfast restaurants popping up all over the place. Not all over the place, but there are some good ones. Yes. And when you come, how about I take you to some of those and show the people of Taiwan what our breakfast looks like. Let's do that. So guys, make sure you guys hit subscribe. We'll see you in the next episode. I'm thinking all of the day. Hi, babe. Mi Jiang Wan Sui. you up, you're never going to get your dreams accomplished, ever. You're going to see me. I never thought in a million years I would do this, but as soon as it beat you, it was time to start fighting. You can do it! It's hard. But first off, it's time to let him experience real cycling without an e-bike here in Taiwan. Have you ever done cycling before? No. Never? Never. I've been here before. You have? Okay, probably could have paced faster, but my butt hurts, so it's about easy. That's about probably a half piece of pace. We are right now at Sun Moon Lake for Brad to attempt going around Sun Moon Lake and actually facing hills for his first time. I'm actually a fitness enthusiast, okay. right? Cycling is, I guess, just one outlet for fitness, but for me, we went and did that Merida race and yeah. I got my butt kicked. And I realized that I'm the type of guy that's not really cool with stuff like that. So <laughs> I'm not gonna be eating. We're here to work out, believe it or not. Stop me point. Yes. Seeing where it's challenging can yeah. For me, challenging is fun. This is so hot outside. I like I got kicked in the balls. Ooh. Three times longer than you said it was. So Logan said, it's just around the next corner. So I gave it my all turned around. Then there was another corner. I was like, no problem, I'll do one more. And that happened like twice. 